it's a pivotal day with a pivotal event, and I do want to be providing some forwards uh, guidance or just an update on this Bitcoin short trade that we have been looking at for the past couple of days now. That is going to be the focus of today, of course. We got the jobs report coming in a little bit later today. That is likely to be a major catalyst for price action, meaning that if Bitcoin is going to truly break down, today is a damn good day for that, uh, uh, you know, in alignment with this data right here. Of course, that does mean that a Bitcoin or just markets in general hold themselves sideways, maybe even put in a little bit of an upside move. That'd be a really, 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 really good indication that uh, markets will essentially kind of salvage themselves, um, probably not doing all that much between now and like the next, I don't know, seven to 10 days, but the latter half or, or, or the very end of September likely to be the impetus for a nice, uh, you know, a nice, uh, you know, a, a, a nice upside move, basically. Anyways, um, I should let you know that this setup over here is using the CrownQuant automation service, which you can see right here, which is actually 80% off for the first month, meaning that you can try it for an extremely low dollar amount around about 30 bucks and it's a tool that actually you can literally make money with it literally will trade on your own behalf you can automate your back testing all that good stuff and of course all of our other programs and services are also on sale for actually 20 percent off with that same code b day in all capitals all right so first things first let's actually um yeah let's update this setup here first and then we'll work our way through the weeklies but basically um this short setup that did fire off on wednesday was a key component of yesterday's analysis because while bitcoin did close technically a hammer dildo right here which is typically seen as a signal of of um of uh of reversal you know of course everyone's read their investopedias and they've studied their dildos and this one's a hammer meaning the lows in and price must go up um you know the key component of this uh for this sell signal or this sell strategy or the short strategy, I should say, was that Bitcoin still closed below key major moving averages, specifically that red five exponential moving average right here. And in yesterday's video, we said, hey, this is probably fool's gold. You know, this probably does come back down. And as you can see, Bitcoin did come back down, actually. Um, and in today's and, and so far today, as I just wake up, Bitcoin has once again used that red five as the sort of uh, impetus for, you know, some selling action as you can see a perfect wick up to the to test it and then back down now so i do want to remind myself that the average return for the winning trades using this strategy has been about eight to nine percent and putting that into dollar terms that would imply you know if this plays out around those regions we're probably looking somewhere down around very low to fifty three thousand dollar territory that would obviously correlate very well with that catalyst uh, event that we spoke about at the beginning of this video um, with the job re job report uh, coming out later today you know, again, if Bitcoin is going to break down or if markets are just going to break down in general, probably comes off the back of that news, to be honest with you. Um, now, on top of that, I should also remind myself that when we go into the performance summary for this strategy, if it is going to be a losing trade, if it is going to be a losing trade, we expect on average two bars, which would be two days, obviously. And that would mean two days. So basically, if Bitcoin fails to pop back up above that red five today, which is $57,000, you know, very likely we do see low 53s um, tested and you know, I, I do think that Bitcoin would really be in danger there of having a real true breakdown where it says goodbye to the $50,000 territory. But first things first, you know, to want to see a bounce off of about 53 or 52 and a half and then, you know, and then analyze it from there. But uh, Bitcoin is wearing out, out its welcome from this current range, um, to be quite frank with you. So moving on from there, I should get into the weekly closure for CME. A couple things to be aware of right here. We can see that the weekly jewel is still maintaining its downside curvature. In fact, this would actually be considered pretty much a perfect continuation sell signal. We see DMI turning negative back on over here. We see all of these oscillators positioned in, well, downside continuation. And assuming that Bitcoin closes, you know, anywhere here or lower by end of day, um, really anywhere below 56, 56,000 bucks on CME, uh, that will indicate continuation coming into next week. Um, very likely, you know, just <laughs> putting it putting it bluntly right there. Very, very likely. Um, hard to be bullish again on Bitcoin at minimum as long as it's below that daily five and even the weekly five right here, which is actually all the way at 59,500 you know, is, 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 is kind of like a good line in the sand to be aware of that, you know, look, as long as Bitcoin's below there, there's really no talks of any major reversal, any major trap, all of this sort of stuff 
Um, in fact, the only trap that we've seen actually is, <laughs> was, you know, about a week ago when Bitcoin did trade up to 65 and then close the week down to around 59. Um, not great right there. Uh, but that is the purpose of a bull trap to, to trap. Um, anyways, moving on from there, I should get into, of course, the stochastic momentum for CME. We do see that the weekly, again, closing later today is currently positioned at 62,400. Very unlikely we do see Bitcoin uh, close above there by end of day. Again, anything's possible, but I would say that's uh, highly improbable. And we also should be aware, <clears throat> if we draw a regression here, for the weekly time frame specifically, there is a regression that has been providing um, the impetus for some pretty significant bounces since 2022. Uh, but that would imply that this does continue to come down. And, you know, that would take at least, I mean, this would be the projection for the next week. So, you know, two, three, maybe even four weeks from now. Now before it does meet that trend line regression. So things are, again, leaning more to the downside here, especially um, as we are still before the quad witching date of September, which I actually did forgot to bring up right here. But I'll, 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 I'll pull this up really, really quickly, just in case if there's new people uh, watching and, 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 and looking right now. But, um, but basically, you know, the most likely thing for September is that the low has occurred you know, typically around about the midpoint of September, uh, perhaps a little bit closer to the to the quad witching date, meaning that you know, as long as we're in this first portion of September, downside is more likely. Um, and the real question is: Is Bitcoin throughout this period actually break one of the key levels that? Indicates you know it's gonna it's it's gonna uh, trade much further to the downside and probably like a four handle. Um, so this is why I've been saying for the past week week and a half maybe even two weeks now, this is the time to be defensive. Um, it is not the time to be hopium in my opinion. Uh, the hopium was kind of dashed on that last uh, bull trap that we did see coming off of that rejection at sixty five a couple weeks ago. So, anyways, um, moving on from there, what is the key level or the key price for Bitcoin? To hold today from a mathematical perspective. Using the HPDR, we can see that the weekly, again, for CME here, is it's actually in danger already. Um, below about 56000 bucks on CME. Again, CME does have a slight premium over spot price action, but it is slight right now, I should say. Uh, if Bitcoin does close below 56 about a little bit below 56 um, yeah, uh, this is very likely to continue into next week, and we're probably going to see another four handle on price action. Maybe not necessarily next week, but uh, you know, sometime before the end of September, I would suspect. So I would be aware of that. Of course, Bitcoin does continue to hold and close today, very specifically above fifty-six thousand bucks minimum. Um, that does kind of keep the hopes open, but you know. We'll probably have a much clearer, uh, you know, idea of of you know of what this is after today's closure. Of course, at probably even after this jobs report coming out, because these typically do have or, or are, are a major catalyst for price action. So, you know, I would be aware of that. <clears throat> um, then again, you know, one thing that I, I have seen many times is that when price action becomes down to like a major support or up to a major resistance alongside a news event, it typically goes the other way. More often than not, but you know, in these cases, I do think that it is wise to be uh, more, <laughs> more, more careful than not. Um, you know, wh what would be the price that Bitcoin would start to look good again at? You know, if it, if it closed this week above about fifty nine or fifty nine and a half, that would look pretty damn good again for holding within this region. Still unlikely to see anything significant before the end of the uh, before around the end of the month, but you know, would kind of keep those hopes alive. Um, but until then, it's hard. It's hard to make. A bullish argument, at least from my own perspective here, I understand that that you know might not be what um, many people want to hear, but uh, that has been the case, you know, for the last couple of weeks, especially. Um, so that is where I'll leave it on today's video. Again, fifty-six thousand bucks by end of day today. If Bitcoin does close below there, uh, I would very likely expect to see a four handle on price in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, or at least a test down to very low fifties, and yeah, it, then I, I I wouldn't want to play that game. I, I you know I, I I would consider that a breakdown. Anyways, okay, cool. That's where I'll leave it for today. Nice and short and sweet video. Again, we got our sale going on for another couple days here um, with code B day in all capitals, and I will end things on that note. And we'll come back at it tomorrow again with those weekly closures. So that is likely to be um, where we'll pick up next. So I'll sign off on that note. As always, I want to wish you the best, the best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully tomorrow.